Hi, I'm Suan, and I'm here today with Team Singapore Equestrian Rider Catherine Oh. Here in Singapore, we really focus on two of the main Olympic disciplines. So we focus on dressage, which is what I now specialize in, and show jumping. The other discipline is what we call eventing, which is a combination of dressage and show jumping and the discipline called cross country. So dressage is, is really best thought about a bit like the floor routine for gymnastics. So we're trying to get our horse to do different movements at a particular place on what we call an arena and we get scores on how well we do it, how accurately we do it, how obedient the horse is, how smooth the ride is. Show jumping is about jumping, so show jumping is a bit like going over the hurdles. So you're trying to get over a course of jumps without knocking any of them down or making any other mistakes and that's how you would um, win, a, win a course would be having no mistakes at all. I used to do show jumping and I'm really interested in the scoring system. Could you give me a walk about? Sure, of course. Let's we go. have a course here. How is penalty score? How do you, you penalise for your mistakes? So with a show jumping course, your goal is to get zero points within the time limit. There is a time limit within which you need to jump all the jumps. And if you knock a pole down, you get penalties. If your horse stops in front of the jump, you get penalties. Or if the horse goes around the jump instead of over it, you get penalties. So this jump that we're here with is what we call an upright. There's just one set of poles all in oh, one yeah. line. But you can see some of the others, you've got poles that are set apart, so you have a width as well. And this is about <laughs> 1 meter 20 maybe. Actually the maximum height goes up to 135, so we might see something even oh higher gosh. in the individual, which is... That's tough. It's exciting to watch as well. <laughs> <laughs> now the most fun part for me, Catherine here is going to teach me how to ride a horse. So the first thing you need to do when you ride is to know who your horse is. So this is Titan. Hi. He's an Australian horse that came first to Singapore for the Youth Olympic Games. <laughs> He's about 12. Um, and it's really important, as with any animal that you have a relationship with, that you build a relationship of trust. So we spend a lot of time getting to know our horses so that they know you and you know them. <laughs> um, you, when you ride, um, you have two bits of equipment that you really need. The first is what we call the bridle, which is this thing here on his head. Okay. Um, and that's connected to the reins, which is what you'll hold in your hands. And you have a saddle, which you're going to sit in, and that uh, makes you more secure and more comfortable when you're sitting on top of you. I feel very strongly that I'm a role model to my children, so what I'm trying to show them is that as you put hard work into something, you get something back for it, and that really building perseverance is, is a key discipline for anyone if you really want to succeed at something. Your family is, is part of your team, and, and all of us as athletes are very, very grateful for the team that supports us and very proud of the people that we come to represent. That was really awesome. Thank you so much, Catherine, You're for spending welcome. your morning with me. All the best at upcoming SEA Games. Thank you. Do us proud. And that's it from me. Remember, it's never too late to learn a new sport. And I'll see you next time. Bye.